Uh, good morning. We're talking about uh, in pursuit of journalism excellence. Uh, perhaps on your side, you have different views about the state of play in relation to journalism. There are many of us who are broadcasting live when we shouldn't because there are professionals who should be able to convey the kind of messages that help build inclusive communities. But as you look around in search of where the pockets of wisdom lies on journalism, uh, the, the places where understanding lies on what is journalism and what is not journalism. Uh, we don't have scripts, we don't have training. I'm talking of myself, not we, uh, in the generic sense. But I find myself sometimes being frustrated by the lack of professionalism in the media. That gossip, innuendo, superstition, speculation becomes the order of the day. People uh, tend to look at content as if it's something that can be peddled without any responsibility in terms of the facts that support that content. If you are watching and listening, this is the coffee shop brought to you by the 1873 FM uh, in collaboration with the C2C Converting Connections to Communities uh, Initiative. And uh, if you believe that uh, you are concerned about the quality of journalism, then uh, join us. I'm also joined by Miss Natasha de Coca. She is uh, part of uh, this uh, team that is concerned about the excellence in journalism. Uh, good morning. Morning, how are you? <clears throat> how are you? I'm good. I've got a voice today, but it's still a bit on the, on the, on the weak side. Um, but all's good now, all's good now. So I like the way you asked in the group and nobody answered. Yeah, so, I was just like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is the lack of uh, order and organization. That since Friday, we are not talking about the things we are going to be doing tomorrow. Mm. Do you find that as a problem? That actually, well, it, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, carry on. Actually, we look to somebody to lead. Mm. And uh, we look to somebody to tell us what we should be talking about. Yeah, well, yeah, I, th yeah, I think um, to me it was just about um, is there a show today? Because obviously I wasn't sure um, if there was. Obviously, I will presume from now on that there's a show every day. Um, and yes, you know, um, I think it's kind of why we obviously need some we why we're asking the question is uh, what we're talking about today is because you know last week we had such a tough week and it was so jam-packed full of you know topics about journalism and you know it was really a uh, and obviously i wasn't sure if we were going to continue with um with the show and obviously with uh, the uh, no, journalism but, topic but natasha why wait until the battle time to ask that which you can answer yourself to say, I want the show, it's an open. I want the show every day. Mm. And if you want the show every day, you just come and do it. <laughs> Why wait until <laughs> whether there's somebody or there's nobody? There's a okay. equator. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I know I will take my 10 o'clock time slot in the mornings and I'll do a show. It doesn't matter on what it is, I'll just do a show in the 10 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm saying if you do it in the name of Jesus, you are called a Christian. Mm. If you do anything in the name of Prophet Muhammad, you are called a Muslim. So you can decide to say, I am the face of the virtual coffee shop. Whenever I have the time, even 10 minutes, just to share something I want other people to know, including this problem of paralysis, where no nothing gets done, 
and people are waiting for somebody else to do something. And history is not waiting for you because you are creating history by doing something. Mm -hmm. So whatever you've done, you can't ask somebody, what am I going to wear today? Is there going to be breakfast today? If you are hungry, just cook it. Just uh, get it on. But how sure, many of us actually ask somebody else, even when we are writing stories, a journalist, we ask the editor, we want somebody else to tell us, is there a show? And you knew that yesterday is followed by tomorrow. Mm. So if tomorrow has not arrived and you don't make the decision whenever you make it that I'm going to have a show, this is my plan. I will have a show to talk about the pursuit of excellence. If I'm pursuing excellence, then do I do it alone? The answer is no. Mm. Do I do it with others? The answer is yes. Do I need to be in the studio? The answer is no. It's like Wellington yesterday, he says no. He has been following the tweets. There's a Twitter battle, I want to have a show. I said, by all means, get a flyer, do it. But it doesn't have to wait for me. Mm. But if you believe it must be done in the name of 1873, just do it. But how many of us wait and say, okay, I arrive on this. Imagine I arrive on battle. Imagine this is a battlefield mm. for public opinion. And you arrive in, on the day of the battle with unarmed and say, let's go ahead. Mm. Huh? And it's something that you love to do to communicate to educate, inform, entertain people. But you are not there. And you just arrive on battle and say, here I am. Then you look around, who else is here? Isn't that the problem we are facing mm. as human beings? That That's we have 24 hours before the next 24 hours. But even just to send a note to you, Natasha, to say, Natasha, what are we doing? It could have been on Friday to say, I, I have a friend I need to bring on the show. Mm. And uh, this is my, because it becomes repeated. Imagine every day we are the four of us. Like uh, the guy, Northern Rhodesia, Southern Rhodesia, the Ipim Darawang. What is on? Imagine that question alone. He's not saying, or she's not saying, what, what does she want to hear from the topic? Mm. or I have experience of reading trash fiction dressed as fact. Then I end up making judgments on the basis of fiction. Mm. He's not saying that. He's not saying I want to be part of a community where we celebrate excellence, that for everything we do, we must plan for it. And if we are two of us, then we must communicate. And if the five of us, we must then communicate. So there's somebody who set up a group, he called me from Zimbabwe, he says, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, uh, put a group. You know what he said this morning? I shared, it's not just him. Yeah, what he says, yeah. <clears throat> what he says, it's uh, very interesting and you find it very uh, amusing. Uh, he says, uh, <clears throat> uh, and no, no, it was, uh, it was uh, I, we call the group C2C, uh, BCP uh, project, build, building community power project. That we are trying to build community power. <clears throat> uh, welcome on board, everyone. Your cooperation. Uh, to this initiative is greatly appreciated. C2C Building Community Power is Mutuma Maweres initiative. 
can you believe? So you can say it's my initiative. Mm. Yeah. Good morning. I, I the church is Jesus' initiative. Have you ever heard that? No. And I'm trying to build the church for Jesus, not for myself. When it's raining, I will shelter. So it's not my show. I have no interest in it. I'm just coming here as a passenger. I'm just in the group as a passenger waiting for others to tell me what is the next step. Mm. Yeah. So I told him, it's not my initiative. You approached me and you wanted to get ahead faster in your life. And you wanted to accelerate contacts and I gave up times to make you shine. And he's still saying, it's my initiative. How do you cure that disease, Natasha? Well, you know, cure? firstly, it's it's not obviously yours. Uh, you have built or you've given us the platform to make it our own, to take a piece of that platform and to give it our stamp on it. And um, I think, you know, what I've learned through the comments and, you know, from the people on the show is I think they just don't understand how it becomes theirs. And, you know, I think, like you say, people need to not be asking, um, could I? They should just be saying, I want, please can I have this time available? And uh, I think that someone such as Wildfire or whoever else um, has access to the platform will make a time available for those people who would like to, you know, like you say, share their time, share their stories, share their experience. And if they've got an amazing topic to take the time and, you know, just say, can I have 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? I would like to discuss. And, you know, if they have a friend or they have people that they, that they want to join on it, on the show, they can, you know, like you say, bring a friend, let's have a discussion. Because, you know, what we've seen this in the past is when we have a good topic, people tend to come onto the show from, obviously, from the links and the stuff we put on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter, which is great because that obviously increases the, from two or three to five or six. I think we once had seven or eight people on the show, which is quite great. Uh, like I said, uh, people need to just, you know, like I agree with you, say, I would like 10 o'clock or I would like nine o'clock and I please have that time slot. I would like to discuss this topic. Uh, like we did last week, it was a very, like I said, we had the journalist topic last week and, you know, that topic literally went from journalist to, uh, we had, what's her name? I can't even pronounce it. Shlui, uh, what's her name? Um, she, the lady from the journalist. Yes, uh, thank you. Sorry, it's, it's, not eight, it's kind of difficult to, you know, thank yeah. you. you know, she had so she had such a great topic and she had such a great week last week. And, you know, she took that time and she embraced that 10 o'clock in the morning and she, you know, she drove it. And I think, um, you know, everybody who else wants a piece on the show, it's not Matumwa's show or Motuma's initiative it's he gave us the platform for us to be able to put our stamp on and to take the time to you know put out what we would like to put out there to the people who are listening and look and viewing and you know our watchers uh yeah so i think it, it's something that can't be cured it's, it's if you don't want to take the opportunity then we can't force you to take the opportunity uh so you need to take that first step and say, I would like that time, and take it. No, I'm saying, let's assume you just took the plight and did it. Then you don't have to say anything. You're just having a, a conversation about why it is difficult for me, not other people, to get ahead. Because I tend to wait for others. I tend to, val to get someone to validate what I want to do. So if I want to have a show, the question is how then do we get admin rights? Because you don't need somebody else to do the admin when they show you, it can tell you somebody is on the show. Hmm. So if somebody is planned, then you say, if you have a show and if, if it's a virtual coffee shop, it's a coffee shop, it is a, it's an opportunity for us to talk. 
So I could be talking to somebody else. But I'm well, trying to provoke others. Hello? I'm trying to provoke others by what I do, not what I ask of others to do. So when we say even the C2C magazine, uh, Janet uh, uh, wrote to me and said, can you do a forward? I said, why can't you get Natasha to do a forward? Do we need a magazine, an online magazine where they take your picture? Just say, my name is Natasha Dikoka. This is what I do. I'm passionate about training. I'm passionate about provoking conversations. I'm passionate about knowing people. And if I know 30 people or 50 people, it means I can have a workshop for 50 people. But I can't have a workshop for one person. So I need a minimum of 30 people that share the same thing. But how do I get 30 people quicker? How long mm -hmm. does do I need to get 30 people in this uh, uh, lock, uh, lockdown era? So I get 30 people by me being out there every second, mm -hmm. whatever I can get time excuse, because I need people. Because though they are the raw materials for whatever I do, even if I sell ice cream. I need more people to consume ice cream than mm. few. If I'm going to be a journalist, I need people to follow me. There are many people who are following you now. They don't even know who you are. So how do I get myself to be out there? Guys, if you are going to do something uh, tomorrow, I want you to come and talk about your problem. Are you concerned that the media is not giving space for something that is positive? The mm. media... People are dividing people through gossip, through innuendo, through superstition. So I need to create, I need to be part of a community where I can just talk about my frustrations. Where do I go if I wanted to advertise myself? I'm a hairdresser. So I need to be able to be out there than knocking on people's doors and say, I'm a hairdresser. I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, when I'm sick, I'll look for a doctor. But where do I find a convenient doctor? Just simple. I'm a journalist, and this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about myself, my problems, sitting at home and uh, uh, being able to be known. So if I have five days or seven days to be known, what I said to Wellington on Saturday, he called me and said, are we going to have a show on Sunday? I said, uh, between the uh, wildfire and Natasha, for some reason, they agree that the show must only be on weekdays, as if they are employed to do the show. Mm. Yeah. Why, where is that idea coming from? That is Monday to Friday. It's because we kind of feel it's week, it's, it's, it's during the week. But, you know, I know that um, to be successful, you don't have a working week because every day needs to be your working week. You know, if you have to work, to be successful, to work eight hours a day, you're not going to become successful. You know, to sleep two hours and work the other 22 hours, then you become successful. You know, no. um, you know I once it had someone who said to me that sleeping is when you die, one day you'll have enough time to sleep. Um, you know, and, I, and I, do, I fully agree with that. And I think it's got to do with how we were brought up as, as, as you know, as the traditions we were, grew up with, you know, Monday to Friday is work day. And but we shouldn't be seeing the radio and the show as a work opportunity. It should be more about something we are passionate about and something we love doing. And if we love doing something, we will do it every day. Not every time you have a free minute and say, like uh, some people are addicted, they actually can't do anything else except to be on, on social media. And the mm. more people are familiar with you, the more they like you, the more they dislike you. Then you become perfect at presentation because there are people who are saying, yeah, Natasha, today it was a bad show. Some people will criticize you. And you say, thank you for criticizing me because at least you are watching. Mm -hmm. There are people who say nothing, who are closest to you. And you say, but where am I going? Because I need somebody to tell me, this is not on. Today you said something horrible. That's why I tweet every day to provoke people to... Some people even scandalize me for tweet. Can you imagine that a tweet then defines who I am? 
But I'm just provoking somebody to say something. But I'm mm. not asking them to say something. But they will respond to me. But if I have nothing that I'm tweeting, there won't be a response. There won't be a retweet. Nobody will like it. So I'm doing it to be out there. And can't you uh, guys also learn from that, that the more I am in the public domain, the more I get the point. When I want to now invite people to come to a workshop, even on journalism, there are a lot of things that you can tell them now. I have learned something. Be passionate about anything you do. Do it even if other people say they're tired. Mm. Don't do it for somebody else. It is your personality in it. You must show your face. You must take your, uh, your cue from it. And you must advance yourself. Imagine the two of us. Somebody says, ah, but who is the third person? The third person is not there. Mm. The outside world, they say, what, what is it? But you guys, I don't want to know how you came in. But show up. Show face. Mm. And be counted. You never know how many people want to learn about journalism in this difficult time. Mm. What am I going to say? I don't know how to write a story. I don't know how to communicate, how to introduce, how to conclude, how to keep on time, how to manage time, how to do this. How do I get people to be interested in my content? So true, if so I true. Other people, then it, it's not personal. Then I'll be giving you lectures. Mm -hmm. so you must do this, you must do come to the coffee shop. Then what do I do when I come to, well, there's no coffee anyway. Mm. Yeah, so what is a coffee shop? Just give me a brief description of what it is. Well, to and me... You... No, no, I'm, just, I'm not asking you, oh. but yeah, you can... Ask. Oh, look, it, we having coffee? I'm having coffee. I know you don't drink coffee. <laughs> you yeah, drink no, tea, no, but, um... you, can, you can comment. Yeah, not, not answer. It's not a question for you. It's mm -hmm. a question for everybody. You say, I come to an address. What is it all about? So I mm -hmm. will write about it. So every time you start the show, I would say this uh, This is a, a coffee shop and this reminds me of the old days where we used to meet as uh, uh, to drink coffee. While we're drinking coffee or, or we're smoking, it would be a smoking shop. Oh, wow. And while we're smoking, we're asking each other, how are you? Uh, today you don't look good. What's happening? Mm -hmm. My husband beat me up yesterday or my wife beat me up yesterday. Oh, oh okay. okay. What happened? So you start having a conversation. And that's what we are trying mm. to build, to build conversations so that we get the most, uh, and that's the intent yeah, of I think broadcast. it's got to, it's got to do, it's, you know, it's, it, the, the idea of this is, you know, it's to, for people to, like you said, come to the show, you know, tell your story and, you know, People love to add on and people love to share their opinions. And, you know, a lot of people might have experienced something in similar, you know, they share their stories and they, you know, you know, if you get to a gathering, you know, back in the day when we used to, you know, go to gatherings or we used to go, we call it a braai, you know, people would come up with their stories and then people would like, oh, but, you know, I went through the same thing and you, people share. And I think that's just why, obviously, this is about, it's about sharing. And, you know, it is, sometimes it's just, we need those people to come and share, um, not just in their comments, but to, in literally in, in, you know, who they are on the radio, you know, it's, or we want to see you, we want to interact with you, we want to, you know, have that conversation with you because we only have 45 minutes in a day and, you know, it's, this is what we, this is the time that we're giving, you know, for you opportunity to come to the show and, you know, come share your story with us and, you know, it, we always want to hear your story because I have, I share this big passion of listening to people's stories. I enjoy listening to the, the, the experiences, um, you know, the good times, the bad times, you know, and what they've done to get to where they are today. You know, the, those are the things that inspire me. And, you know, there are days when I leave the show and I just, like, feel I've got this, like, drive and inner burn, and, you know, this drive inside of me that I just want to go out and work and make a difference. But it's because of people's stories. It's because of what people say. And, you know, I always feel like, can make a difference somehow i don't know how but you know when i hear stories it's something that 
like I said, I, I can live through them. I can live in them. I can understand them. I can, you know, see how people go through them. And it just makes me want to make a difference. Um, even if it's just by listening or giving my opinion or my advice. And obviously, this is exactly why these shows are there for. So I think that's the, the idea is actually by you telling your story, others would be provoked to tell theirs. Mm. But if you wait for people to come to tell you their stories, they'll wait to hear yours first and nothing gets done. So, so if you just tell the story, the, you send a note in mm. the group today and you were asking a question that occurred in your mind to say, I've not heard anything from anyone about the show. Is there a show today? Hmm. Is there a lesson to learn from that alone? There is. You know, um, I shouldn't have been asking, is there a show? I should be saying, we're having a show at 10 o'clock. That's what I should be doing. I should be saying, we're having a no, show, and this is what I'm with. No, you just do it. Hmm. If nobody has called you, what do you do? Because the moment you say, I'm going to, then it means you are waiting for the same people who are negative in the group mm. to tell you to do something that they are not willing to do themselves. So if you tell people, they will then say, eh, Natasha, so you want us to validate a good idea. It's like uh, Mr. Laxon is here. Uh, he was not invited. If there was no show, there's nothing to come to. Mm. So he is a uh, morning, Mr. Chuai. Morning. Morning, Mr. Ma morning, Natasha. How are you? Good. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. Have you been following? I've been following, but couldn't come on, on board because I was a bit tied up. No, 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 no. We want you to listen and you become the barometer of what we are talking about. Yeah, for sure I was listening. Uh, what is your take? <laughs> On which one, Mr. Mawere? Uh, Natasha this morning is in the same group you are in. Yes, sir. She asked a very good question. Is there a show today? Yes, sir. Yeah. And all we are saying is, Natasha, what is the lesson we learn? Because we are different, we are not different from Mr. Joy. Mr. Joy only comes on the show. But he can yeah. say, guys, I'm talking to people, I'm concerned. Now I see a problem in our journalism. But actually, I don't know who is training these people. When I read a story, it's full of things that I will not say. A speculation, so and so. It's like a, a fiction. Someone, a journalist, you pay him to do journalism. And the people who are trained are not there just to be in the front of the profession. We end up being my very love journalism. Imagine the people who are believing that. Why is he talking about journalism every day? And the people who are angry because they are professionals. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. I get you very well. But you know what, Mr. Mawere? Where things are going a bit wrong, uh, I tend to appreciate the system of the British, um, which was there in our country, if you remember, that if a person wants to be in the profession of, nurse, of nursing, she, he or she should have the passion to do the job. It's unlike today, even a teacher, you'd see that uh, teachers of old age had the passion for their kids to pass. Unlike today, people are into professions simply because they want to make money or to earn a living. And so that's what we do. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Well, they, they can then do anything that uh, uh, is not ethical simply because they are there, not out of passion. 
Okay, so you are saying, uh, as we agree, that passion is number one. For sure. Do you have to it invite somebody? Do you have to invite somebody to be passionate? Can you pay it somebody be, to be passionate? Uh, no, it should be from within. You should be inborn. It's something that should be in you. What are you passionate about? What do you want as a person? And have you uh, gotten Janet talking about a C to C magazine? I saw the messages. Yes. What have you done to respond to that message? Uh, I haven't done uh, much. Uh, I have a situation myself, but uh, you see, like I'm coming in a bit late now on the show. Is it because I have a backlog of things that were supposed to be done over two weeks? We couldn't do them. No, I'm saying, what would it cost you just to say, Janet, uh, this is my picture. I'm Luxon to I, and I got a problem communicating with people because I don't have the time. So can you put just my story that so far since I became aware of this platform, the following things have happened. I have joined, paid up my members due. I have contributed to the radio where I came and I've added my view and today my view was on passion. That let us not retreat into professions to protect ourselves. Let passion yeah. show, it shows anyway. Yes. Uh, what happened is I spoke to Janet and she said she will make time because I was I was trying to to tell you that you see I'm on the platform now but I'm not trained how to present how to put a story. So no, no, it's I not wouldn't just, story. just just what I've said now to say Janet I I I'm passionate about uh, converting voice into uh, text and graphics. So there are many people who are in the group who don't even know who I am and what I do. Yes, and yes. I want to do business. So I just want to be the first volunteer to give my picture and write a, a small thing about myself. You don't have to write about me. Okay. And this is who I am. That's all. Then she oh. just takes it and puts it in, a, in an online magazine. And if you do that, somebody else will say, I also want the same. Especially if you put a nice picture of yourself and say something no, positive will, about yourself. I will definitely do that. After the show, I will communicate with Janet, even with Natasha, um, uh, to get how they uh, had representing um, whatever issues they had. No, I'm saying is leave it. It's online. Anyone can add a page. Imagine you are doing just a page for yourself. Sometimes it's, it's not. We don't even do it ourselves. Just to write a small caption. Of my experience today, I was at a show today, and I learned something. Natasha told me something, and she provoked me because this morning she said, "When is the show day?" That question was written by Natasha, not by somebody else. But she did apply her mind. And you know what, what informed her to do that? Yeah, no, I don't know, sir. She must have woken up and seen see, nobody's talking about the show. Everyone was dead. And she says, how come I'm in a, in a graveyard? And <laughs> I know the show is going to start in a few hours. Yeah. Um, I think, Natasha, it's not about other people to make a show. It's about, you see, um, here they have a saying uh, when they are informing people about HIV and AIDS. They say it starts with you. So if you are not on the show, then I will also say there is no one on the show. No one will pitch up to have a show. So it all begins with you, or with me, or with an individual. So I don't know, Natasha, do you agree? 
that sometimes uh, you have already provoked this conversation, which should be in the magazine. Hello? Hello, is Natasha gone? She's there, but uh, I don't know what, maybe she's... Oh, okay. so maybe she's working on something. So that's the, the idea to say I have been provoked by uh, somebody else. So it becomes my magazine. It doesn't become Janet. And we are Janet multiplied. So I take it upon myself that uh, uh, Janet is one of me. So the more I give you something to do, the the less is going to be done because she she can't be volunteering and doing everything for us. Can you imagine, uh, Mr. Joy? Yeah, yeah, no, she can't. Then it won't be. You see, it's not a one-man show, I think. Yeah, it's about us all to make a yeah. difference, isn't it? That's right. So if, uh, if I do something, then it means she will do less. You see, it still comes to the subject of the past, the shared understanding. Anything shared, it makes a, 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 a person to have a lighter show, York. Yeah. So imagine a wildfire on his own, he develops a show on his own. He comes to the show on his own, a day in, day out. Could that not be boring? He won't make it for a week. He does it today alone, tomorrow alone, the third day you may you may have two minutes to, to just check. Then the fourth day is not there. Yeah. So I think uh, uh, we all get tired of, uh, of doing the same thing. And uh, the people are not even there to show up for what we what they want to see so is she, natasha back? no she's not uh, my suggestion is maybe uh, the timing of uh, the show may not suit men like with me i it's not very suitable as long as we are working because you need to be hiding in an office somewhere to be on the show. You don't even have you, to do that. you can do it at night and people can take your message and read your message. Yeah, I think at night after work, that will be... Even no, the, the is, coffee shop. But, but you can have another coffee shop at night. It can be coffee shop in the morning. How many people drink coffee any time of the day? Most people, yes. Yeah, so what you brings you together to say uh, in the night, I want to be able to talk uh, to this. What is the issue? The issue is passion. Yes. And passion and progress. Yes. So I, I, I'm yesterday, were you not saying you will be with uh, this guy, Jonas? Jonas is today, it's two o'clock. It's two. Yeah. But I'm saying he, it can be another person. It doesn't have to be Jonas. If you are not there, that's fine. But you can ask questions for Jonas. Yeah, no, I would want I would want to uh, also contribute as he will be speaking. I, I like the way he has uh, diverted from the past. It's uh, very interesting. I want to know what drives him to see change yeah, that's now a show but yeah for this show now you are saying okay i will do my bit i'll prepare my one page and this yes, is I why will. and this I is uh, i i confirm that i paid and i uh, this is uh, my confirmation that i do pay because there are people who believe that paying is a sin for things even paying for government that is a sin they want a good government but more, some people don't want to pay for the good government. If they don't pay their taxes. Yeah? If they yeah, don't pay their I'm taxes saying, for the government to run. In the, in the animal kingdom. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, but the unfortunate thing, we are not, we are a different species of an animal. Yeah, but now, now let's uh, let's talk to this page of Mr. Uh, let's say we go to uh, uh, Janet and say today, Mr. Uh, uh, Larkson wants to do a page on the magazine. What should the page contain? Can you see it in your mind? What should the page have? Yeah, my own opinion, it will be, personally, I, I talk about life. There are many challenges that people don't say, they, they, they don't say out. But now if, they, if there is someone to share, they will be on the common, we, we will have a common ground. Okay. Mm. So, so, so your your page will have what? Let's say on the top left, on the top right, what will it have? Um, I would come okay with social life and its challenges, isn't it? No, no. I'm saying is what should it have? Uh, imagine it's your page. Your page. Just put your page. Yes. And say, I'm going to give Janet the following information. What should that page have? Uh, <laughs> like you were saying, Mr. Mawere, I will talk about myself, the challenges, social challenges that I met. And no, no. if there I'm are solutions, I'm saying for this magazine, they, in, in, uh, Natasha, uh, if you were to put a page on the magazine, mm -hmm. prepare your own page. What should it have? What information should it have? Your page, personal page that we are trying to put together a magazine mm -hmm. that incorporates all of us as members. What should we, what should it have? What information do you think is important? Well, firstly, I think your photo is very important because people need to see who you are. Then That's secondly... Right. Your photo say, or, photo, or photos. Yes. Just to show yes. you who Exactly, you are. show that you are human, not a robot. Then I would say your names and what it is that you do. If you are, um, you know, a doctor or attorney or uh, uh, whatever it is you do. And then a brief... Just a brief um, little explanation, maybe I wouldn't say more than maybe 25 words, 30 words. It just explains what is your passion and what is that drives you as a person. These are the words that people will read. And if they, those are the first words that um, people will see who you are as a person. And then if they see who you are, they will like you and they'll continue reading. Then, then you then talk about building community power. Mm. And you can that, bring it what you can contribute that, uh, towards so the far, community. Na Natasha, uh, you now know Wildfire, you now know Laxon, you now know Sengiwe. Some you, you may not be able to pronounce their names, mm. but at least you are being exposed. And my concern is that I, I haven't seen an Indian person. I haven't seen too many white people. So this is a black, I'm the only white, I'm kind comfortable being the only one standing out. So if you're out there, I benefit from it. So if you call yourself white, you are welcome. I've been welcome and we are one. Mm. So me to see is in action. And it acts on me and I've got kids, I've got uh, things to do. But I look forward to this hour. And that's what I try to do. And so be visible. And hopefully, by me being visible, I'll be able to attract others or to provoke others to be visible, to accelerate their own business opportunities. You know, I want to make a suggestion. You know, um, I am a person that, that's got a creative mind and I've got media, social media and digital marketing experience behind me and I'm, I'm qualified for that. Um, I want to know if it's okay with you is that I would love to do a live workshop 
with the with people from the CTC community on that one page to help them and guide them through what needs to be on that page and how to make it but brilliant. Again, again, Natasha, you are asking whether it's okay for me. That, again, is a lesson. I don't want to step on toes. That's the thing. I, I respect you no, so much I'm that I don't want to step on toes. In the world of life. Because nobody has been where you want to go, Natasha. Mm. Yeah, so you are the originator of your thoughts. You are the implementer of your thoughts. If you think after this, you've, you've been provoked to do it. Do your first page. Give it uh, and put a uh, be part of the publication. Because we've got social media. Janet, mm. my sister, I may be busy, but let's work together so that you do less, I do I more. <laughs> okay, so Latson, I'm going to do a workshop on what we need to put on this page, and I will connect with Janet. Uh, I think I've got an email address for her, and we will... No, she's make... part of the group. No, you don't even have to do it. I'm just saying, just put your page as, mm. a, as an example of excellence. And then share your page. Perfect. Yeah, so you don't even need to ask uh, just say Janet, because Laxon is his understanding of the page is different from your understanding. Mm. My understanding. He's thinking that we're asking for his opinion on talking to people about politics or business. No, we just want the person to come into the community. Just go and check if you take it to. So, so, yeah, yeah. Look at so. Yeah. Can you yeah. it? You know, it's it's a long time there. So when I take it, you take it at home. Okay. Hmm? What? Uh, so I'm saying is, let's try to what? Let's try, uh, Natasha, to do the things that. Uh, you can do for yourself. Don't do it for Janet. Don't mm. don't go to a lecture to tell other people to do something that you have not done. Okay. Just do your page. And I'll put it. On, I'll put. I can put it on the group, and then obviously. Yeah, you just put it on the page. My name. I joined this uh, virtual workshop, and uh, for me, my testimony. I have benefited from this association. Mm. And uh, I think uh, uh, I'm a better person because I get different views while I'm at home. I'm, I don't mm. have to leave my home. Exactly. So when the hour is finished, uh, then I do my job. I, I continue. But Janet, Janet, let's get together as a family. And let's mm. give you excuse. I don't, I've learned a lot from, uh, from uh, many people in the group. And the things I would not, not have no, no time even to, to look at. But because we are in this community, I'm now learning. True, true. Yeah. Even about document management, building true. community. Somebody says, no, I need only people who know something. I said, okay, do you want to test before you build something? Mm -hmm. Just do what you are doing. Don't invite people. Just put your page. Just put your content. People will come because they like the way it looks. So you will be our number one because you are already in social media. You know mm. what needs to happen. Then if Luxon says, no, I can't do it, then he says, but uh, pay me to do it so that I, pr I produce a book of 100 pages, 100 page people. So it just become a Facebook. Is that correct? Mm. Yeah? True, true. Yeah. So we have uh, yeah. a book of, voices, book of voices. True. Yeah. But we're I think it's, it's great. Yeah. Communities and the power in communities. Well, let this let, let, let be an example of, 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 of communities coming together because, like you say, Laksa needs something. I've got something. We can do it. You know, I can provide Laksa with something. He needs and you know for him to have gone outside and trying to find someone to be able to do what he needs to get done 
it's it's a lot of work and it's a lot of effort because you need to go out you need to go interview people you need to understand the go you need to research people but here you've got on the community on today's show two people that can literally provide a service for each other and this is you can great say, while, I'm doing, while, while i'm doing my page i want to share mm. with the world so i'll do it online share the screen so that I don't, because sometimes when I do things on my own, I get uh, stranded somewhere. Mm -hmm. True, you lose track. Yeah, you lose like track. Now, one hour tomorrow, the virtual, I'm just going to show how to build a page, how to promote myself, because I am the brand. Mm. And I can't go and promote someone I don't know. Then I go True. every day, I'm talking about other people except me, mm. that I'm the best in social media. I wouldn't have the best, but yeah, I know. <laughs> but, wrong. Yeah. I am the best. To me, I'm the best. To you, I may be not the best. But no, I, got to start I start with me. It's true. I and, uh, yeah. any, any final words? I don't know if it's clear. Mm. I think you've learned us a very good lesson today, and that is not to be asking. Uh, the permission of people to do something you just need to do it out there and you know if you do burn the food bridges or you do step on toes you know people get it they will get over it they will build a new bridge and they will you know their toes will heal so um you know i think the lesson that we've learned and the, the thing that i the thing that i can take away from the show today is not to be asking people permission because people should not be in charge of who you are what you think or what you are doing and you just need to do it and you know, if people don't like it, it's their problem. And you know, people will, if people like it, then they will follow you. It is what it is. And you know, um, that's I think that I think that's for a lot of people out there. We get stuck in a position because we don't know, and we we seeking permission from people out there. And you know, if that person doesn't give you permission, you're not going to move forward. You're going to stay where you are. And I, you know, I think that's what what I am taking away from the show today is that stop asking for permission and just do it. And that's a very important. That your life is a script. Nobody has 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 been where you want to go. So why would you step on anyone's toe? It's your future. And this is your platform. This is your vehicle to get ahead. Don't wait for somebody to tell you what is convenient to them, because they'll yeah. mislead you. True. Yeah. So if you have to do something, do it. But don't ask somebody to validate or to be polite with your future. When you have nothing to eat, there's no politeness. Mm. Yeah. So things have to be done. If my target is to have a class of 100 people, just to do a page of yourself. How many people don't even f do their profiles on, on social media? Because they don't know what to put. Exactly. You know, I've seen so many LinkedIn profiles that are empty. Um, it just it doesn't even have a picture on it, it just has a name and, and where they come from. And you know, these are frustrating for us because they could be connections that are so well connected in, in, in sectors where we need help getting into. But like you say, we don't know who you are, we don't know where you come from, what your experience is, we don't know anything about you. And you know, I fully agree with you. And, and for people, it is very frustrating to see empty profiles. Yeah, even if you I know that, think, you'll be the first one to volunteer yours and make it the standard. And then those who want to do profiling, then we go for why do I need to be in a community? Mm. If it, life was lived alone, would it be better? Mm. Then the answer is no. So uh, finally, uh, Mr. Uh, Wildfire, I see Wildfire is there. Yeah. Hello? No, we can't hear you. So uh, Chihuahua Chihu Chihu is gone. <coughs> All right. So that's the... Uh, uh, I. Do you have any other a, a final comment? No, and you know, and I, I'm going to stick to what I said, you know, a few minutes ago. Is that we should stop being asking, we should stop asking people permission, and we just need to do it because you know we are not going to get anywhere if we don't just 
take that leap of faith. You know, we're either going to fail or we're going to make a success. And if we do fail, you know what, we're going to stand up, you're going to dust yourself off, and you're going to try again. Because the only way to move forward is to keep on knocking because I promise you someone will open that door for you. You know, keep on standing up. You know, our failures are not there to make us weaker. Our failures are there to make us stronger. And, you know, this is obviously to me, I have had a, a couple of failures in life. And you know what, I'm still alive. I'm still eating. I still have a house over my head. You know, we learn from them. And it's, it's, it's you know, it, and to have a failure in your life is, I think, it's the most generous gift that life can give us as, as, as humans, as life, is to have those failures in life. And like I said, just take that leap of faith. Just do it. Like, I'm going to be doing it today. To, and, you know, um, that's my motive for today. I'm just going to do whatever I need to do today and get it done. You know, it, it is what it is. So yeah, yeah, just, uh, yeah. So if that is the case, then when you do your your page and uh, just to know what platform they are using, you can uh, uh, get. Uh, are you in the C to C excellence? Uh, I'm on the group. Media, yes. media, yeah. The Janet is there. Then you can just reach out to her to say as a consequence of the, today's show, I want to have a. Uh, a show on the, on the magazine and how I can uh, put my own profile mm. and uh, then I would, I would do it uh, in the glare of public but I, I, I need uh, people to know that uh, this is who I am mm. and uh, sometimes even my last name people don't know what it is so they don't know uh, how to spell my name, how to pronounce my name. And all I'm here is just to uh, introduce myself on this magazine that I am part of this community. And I don't need anyone's validation. I don't need anyone's comment or discouragement, but I'll do it for myself. And I want uh, anything, if it's sleeping four hours, I'll sleep faster. Then only sleep for two hours because the other two hours I'm doing something because I am in a hurry to get where I want, not because of other people. I mm. want to have a workshop September. It must be a good month for me. End of, uh, I still have some days in August. So in August, I must arrange a workshop. But first, people mm. must see what I'm doing, what I'm doing it for, so that they can also be part of the community to promote their own brand uh, pro uh, properties. Mm. If I'm known as a, as a best uh, speaker, then let me be in that community to showcase my speaking. True. So uh, Janet is there, Laxon is there, and you can see that Laxon uh, didn't know what we were talking about. He thought the page... Yeah? Once again, you 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 catch us with some unforeseen circumstances and surprise. You know, it's it's always a surprise when we get here. It's when we when we come on the show, it's like a gift we're opening up, and it's like surprise. But um, you know, like I said, it's, 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 this is what conversations are about. You know, um, we we don't go to a coffee shop to know what the topic is we're going to be discussing today because that you know our lives are unscripted. You know, it's uh, we, we we take life as it comes. You know, I guess. And your yeah, Shane Blackson was really like thrown, you know, once again thrown for a ball, a curveball. But um, you know, this is what makes the show real. That's right. So let's uh, let's uh, let's build uh, that on the same thinking, on the same practice uh, that no single individual can be responsible for other people's lives. Mm -hmm. That we are all responsible. We all have to take charge. If it's not done, it's not done. Like today, if I had not started the show, what was going to happen? We wouldn't have a show. <laughs> I guess we wouldn't have been here today. Yeah. And then you are there, we were expecting a show. Then it's not there, but it has to be a show because of somebody else. Not mm. because of me, what I want. So don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for me. Because I don't have a script for your life. 
And don't trust me to tell people who you are. When you are there, mm. let your work speak for yourself. Whatever you do, right? People will take note. So never take a back seat when it comes to your life. Be the driver. Be on the driving seat. Because nobody's waiting for you, Natasha. True. Yeah. You are on your own. I don't know why I was there because I can't see. No, he said he's, he's not added into the show. Okay, so but I, it's still backstage. Let's see. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, you got, okay. No, I was I was on the on 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 WhatsApp. No, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, you can go ahead. I'm, 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 I, once I go on WhatsApp because I'm recording on WhatsApp, I won't see the the screen. No, I mean, I've been following the, the, the conversation in the backstage where you're saying, look, um, it's, it's everyone's responsibility to, to, to take over the show and not wait. I think I was chatting to Natasha earlier on when we were talking about the show. Um, I was saying, no, uh, Tinashe will be able to, to handle the show with you because I was still at the doctor's room. So I just finished, I think, like 15 minutes ago. But the point is, Everybody has a responsibility to uh, to to handle the show uh, because it's all of us who want to get somewhere. And if Wildfire is not there or Mr. M is not there, Natasha should be able to start a show, have a show. Tinashe is able to do a show, handle a show. Just like Wellington also, I was saying, uh, I see the script that you've sent. Um, I really don't need to be in that show. I can assist technically for you to handle the show so that I can also focus on another show because we've got the whole day that we need to cover. So if all of us are always on the same shows through and through, it doesn't make sense. So we would rather space ourselves and say, okay, Wildfire is in at two o'clock, Mr. M is at two, Natasha is at 10, Tinasha is at 11, so that the whole day is covered with different kinds of conversations and kind of content. So I think it's, it's about every one of us taking charge and are being responsible for, for all, all their shows. But at the end mm. of the day, we all um, are looking at, 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 at achieving the, the, the same goal, which is building this uh, virtual uh, community and improving the quality of journalism and getting more people who are interested in being part of um, the journalism community to come on board. So imagine, uh, you're on point, imagine Wildfire, you are good at technical stuff. And you have 50 people to save compared to Natasha only. Where would mm -hmm. you want to be? Where would I want to be? Yeah, saving 50 or one person. Well, I'll, 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 I'll create one segment to show everybody how things work so that no, I don't no, need no, to be I'm, I'm to saying that. The more the marry, the more the merry I say, guys, I want to show you uh, I'm doing my bit, but when I'm technical, I would rather have volume of people that I'm saving mm -hmm. because I don't have to do one-on-one. -on -one. I have yeah. to now give radio to many people. If you are in Australia and you are in New Zealand, you want to be able to broadcast when I say five minutes of your time on radio you know how long that is how many people are on radio can can spend one whole hour without even noticing but they're saying nothing mm -hmm. but imagine no, I, mean, I write a speech of five minutes and put it on the end say let's have this trial we have 60 minutes five minutes each it means how many minutes then we can break and whatever it means how many people do i need on the show mm. then how do I get them? There are many professionals who are never heard from. Then you look mm -hmm. at the example of what happens when you know somebody, you can be on their platform. And is Mkoma um, Masimba a victim or an addict of social media? Or there's something in him that urges him to be out there. 
So mm-hmm. you then discover that actually when I have a platform, I can give it. It's like uh, yesterday I was saying to StreamYard uh, to Tony, you know what I said to him? That what mm-hmm. is a yard? There, there are many streams in the yard. <laughs> but yeah. it's a community of streams. Is that correct? That's true. And how That's many true. can you can you broadcast on, on, on StreamYard? Uh, eight. Eight. So I got eight. Yeah. I got a highway with eight roads. Mm-hmm. Is that eight, eight lanes? Yeah, eight lanes, and uh, you, you, in a vehicle, you're able to carry 10 people. In each, um, so how many people know that? That is Natasha, no? Uh, I'm I not sure. She can... <clears throat> yeah. uh, she's there, yeah, she can tell us. <laughs> I know a couple. Um, I'll just need to reach out. But you know, I do know. Do you know about StreamYard, the platform oh. of broadcasting now? Yes, I do. I actually have an account with StreamYard. So um, yeah, so uh, you can you can broadcast with a license on eight platforms. Mm. Yeah. So those True. who are on YouTube, who can then monetize it, it means I can monetize my YouTube, but also on Facebook. Mm. Rather than downloading, mm-hmm. yeah, true. So these shows can now be on on on, on YouTube. Yeah, I saw you the you know the eighteen seventy three. It has mm-hmm. a YouTube channel. Um, you know, I've been I sent a link the other day from one of our shows to someone. Um, you know, because uh, I wanted to see what the radio was, you know, how it works and what it was about. And obviously I sent them through the YouTube because I wasn't sure if that person had Facebook or LinkedIn or anything else. So I was just like, yes, if, I know everybody uses well, YouTube I, and YouTube I, I, free. I never wish upon monetization that uh, while we are doing this for free, but uh, the people who want to see these videos in some, if uh, Natasha, you say I'm learning, which is what Wildfire is saying, that even if I'm not there, Tinashe can run and run, handle it. Uh, you can handle it. So we want to democratize it. So we just focus on standards. What are our standards? We don't want people who come here and talk about superstition, talk about racism, talk about tribalism, xenophobia, I am this, I am that. That's our policy. <clears throat> Yeah, and that these shows are there for training journalists, which means uh, uh, wildfire can then upgrade himself to say young people or old people who want to understand journalism, please come and talk to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. And that's uh, right now, uh, Mr. Mawere. Thanks for the program, Mr. Mawere, quite interesting. Did my name is Francis. Mukuzunga, and I'm an experienced journalist working in Lesotho. I got a message. Uh, uh, I got a message uh, from Max Richwasa last night that you are looking for experienced journalists to join in media training institution or something like that. I'm interested in this project. This is my contact and my emails. Unfortunately, I cannot come live on stream right now, but I would like to learn more. You understand, but the way it's crafted, the, you can see uh, wildfire. I got mm-hmm. a message that Mr. Max Ochoasa is my pimp. <laughs> yeah? That I am looking for experienced journalists. He's not saying that he is looking to be part of a community of journalists. Maybe it could be the way that he received the message. Mm. No, whatever you do, there are many people who would be like Natasha. What is the show? What is on the show today? Is it, do we have a show? Because it's not a show, it's not a radio, it's not a community. So you may find that the Maxwell, uh, you ask him and say, I want you on air. What exactly are you are you telling people? Yesterday I corrected him to say, please don't use my name to bring people to me like I'm meat to be eaten. So why do you need to bring people to me or to 
wildfire to do what? <laughs> if you can do a poster, do it. Mm. Yeah? If you mm -hmm. can't learn to do it, let's have a workshop. Those who want to do promotional uh, videos, uh, 1873, before you can run a show, you must know how to promote yourself, how to promote the radio. Mm -hmm. That's all. So, yeah. but he is communicating something. The receiver of that message has to come to me. Imagine I go and invite flies to come and eat meat or make it rotten quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's what we are doing. But if you go to Maxwell now to say, I want your five minutes on radio to talk about this issue of what of what you are saying. What mm -hmm. exactly are you saying to other people? Is it Maware who needs people? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if he got them, what is he going to do with them? Mm. Yeah. Is it my yeah, they, is it my they, 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 they need to be uh, a, 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 a shared um, uh, uh, understanding of what this initiative is about. That it's not a Maweri initiative, but it's for everybody that is interest in uh, redefining or shaping the kind of media that everyone wants than making well, it a one person. Well, well, let me say something uh, which we will need another show. We are not shaping the media. I want to progress myself as wildfire. As a practitioner, don't worry about the platform. But what is in my best interest? To be in a community or to be alone? Yeah, to be in a community. Yeah. Um, if I become number one in a class of one, what, what does it mean? You don't achieve anything, you know. Yeah, if I invoice myself, what does it mean? No, you're definitely, you're definitely not going to get paid. That's right. So why would I need to waste my paper? Mm. Huh? So there are things, Walfire, that are self okay. that you're doing it for yourself. And what your communication is, it will then show that what you are doing, you are doing it for yourself but not doing it for somebody else. I don't know whether it's clear there. No, it, it, it is clear, you know, um, you know, like I said earlier, you know, you shouldn't be doing things, you know, because you, like you said, if you, you, you can't be the only one person, you know, who are you going to talk to if you only you yourself? You know, I think you're going to go crazy, um, you know, things to progress in life it needs to be two people or more because you need to kind of you know be part of a community in a sense that you can't be doing everything yourself you know certain people have certain certain um you know uh, you know they experiences and understandings and know-hows where you don't have and once again everybody can benefit from everybody you can't benefit from yourself so that's the spirit. So let's not ask somebody to do what we can do for ourselves. Just let's us just do it. Mm. And then so if you need anything, uh, look out for Janet only for today, just to show you the, the 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 ropes. And then from there you are on your own. If you need to do a show, uh by all means say I want to do it in the name of 1873. If you have to use my page. So be it, uh, because you want to reach more people. So you must be just be able to be out there to do something for your in your own interest. Perfect. And uh, if it uh, if I have thirty thousand people that you can reach on 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 LinkedIn, go after them hmm. and show yourself that uh, you are in a platform where every day you got black people talking to you. And some will say, oh, but why are you only there? Are you, are you being used? Then you say, I'm using them. I'm using the, the platform because I need people to get ahead. I don't do it for mm -hmm. myself. So 
I don't know. Find out where is the wildfire because we, do, we, we, we didn't have you. I think Hello, he lost connection. Wildfire. Okay. Uh, she wants I uh, I don't see him here. Okay, I'd lost I'd lost connection. Uh, yeah, sorry, Jonathan. sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I I I I feel I feel neglected here. Yeah. Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, when I'm on, on the other, I think we should have multiple. But you can get in, isn't it? You can uh, you can log no, no, in. No, I'm, 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 no, I'm I'm logged in uh, as a guest. That's my problem. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm logged in as a guest. Yeah, no, I, I think um, from the time I I started listening in and um, now, um, it's for all of us to take charge and be responsible for uh, our own journeys. You know, the highway is there, but what is it that we are using the highway for? You know, where mm -hmm. do I want to to go? So if uh, there is value in me being on a, on on the highway, let me utilize it for that and um, reach out and if there's anybody out there also who would like to uh, <clears throat> uh, polish up their craft in terms of media, in terms of uh, radio, in terms of presenting, broadcasting, uh, don't be afraid to reach out. Let us do this together. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Natasha? Yeah, you know, once again, I stick by what I said earlier. You know, um, we are not here uh, you know, to try and get permission from people, you know, just go out there and do it. You know, if you do you like to, if you want to have a show, you know, just do it. Just contact and just do it, you know, do a show. Because, you know, people can benefit from what you are going to be presenting or your story. People do benefit from it. So just do it. So the That's next Monday thing motivation. Is, once we are, uh, when I'm alone, I do what I want. But when we are many, then we put rules so that we can get scheduling. But if there's nothing on the schedule, then I better be the schedule. I better be the person on the forefront. I better, because there are people who are looking for knowledge. There are people who are looking for broadcasting experience. Then as we move together one by one and we accelerate, let's say by end of this week, we're 100 people. Then we can put ourselves, who is in the programming committee? Who is in the pro who is in the scheduling? Who is in the pricing? Who is doing what? Then who is tweeting? Who is not tweeting? Because we have increased the number. But the more you don't increase the number by doing, it means you are making the platform more expensive for one person or for the few. So the key is accelerate visibility, accelerate knowledge, accelerate what needs to happen. So finally, I will be happy to share my experiences with others. Now, uh, Franco was, uh, was is part of the show, but he's not. He can't be talking with us live, but he's part of. The, he's listening. That uh, yes, now I get it. And now you'll be happy to share, but you must be part of the community that then wants standards of journalism. How many people uh, go to school and there's no grading? Imagine there's no certification. Why would I need to go to school? So people like Franco, who have experienced being part of the community, they become reference to say, listen to what we're discussing today. Is it of value to you, Franco? If it is, share it as if it is yours. If you need the audios, ask for the audios so that we share. That's part of the community rather than Franco saying Maware knows something because I don't know what I don't know. So even talking to him, I'll be misleading him. All I know is that if we build the community, and that's what I said to Mark, Mark Sochiwasa, he immediately joined. They said, I pay my money because I know it's important for me. But in terms of communication, we still don't understand each other. He still thinks that I need journalists for the radio. But I said, I've already invested in the platform. Now is to use the platform to promote those who are knowledgeable. Franco, how is it in Lesotho? Who are you? He explained, but he has explained to me in my WhatsApp 
What do I do with that knowledge? Well, next time, uh, uh, wildfire, you want to do a, a course on, on, on radio, on uh, journalism. How would you know about Franco? When Franco is hidden in Lesotho, does he have to come to South Africa for you to do that? No. It means you will be part of the faculty for the radio project to build a community of excellence. There are many journalists in Africa who are not known, who die in poverty, who can leverage themselves in the digital age. Everyone says, I want to build my own platform. But imagine we have 50,000 platforms, everybody blog, uh, blogging. Then what happens, Walfa, if everybody is mm -hmm. blogging? Yeah, that becomes... Uh... It becomes chaos. Mm. Because we don't know where to go. I'm now confused. Who do I know? Who are the shining stars? Because we could be showcasing those people. Those with social media expertise to say Franco is one of our gem, gems or one of our shining stars. We can bang on him for content and he can be able to shape and give honest opinion about the quality of my programming, the quality of my mm -hmm. content. The quality of what is covered, like uh, Natasha yeah. has done, say, no, I came into the show, but I come out with a few lessons. And all I have to do is apply those lessons and see how far it takes me. It may take you somewhere where she has never been. Yeah, true. And that will be the bridge. So, Franco, we hear you. So I think we need to be able to speak to uh, Maxwell and to bring him on radio to better understand with Franco. You give us a time to bring in Maxwell so that we learn how best to communicate if we yeah. have to. But if we don't yeah. have to, let us uh, the video uh, be cut into pieces that we can then customize so that others who may be journalists, mm -hmm. I don't have to repeat what I've said here because I will have to repeat again one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what uh, Maxwell is uh, unintentionally producing that I have to be the reason why the group exists. I have to be a reason why people come to, on these shows when that's not the purpose. So yeah. thank you very much. I know we've taken more time than uh, scheduled, but let's uh, uh, let's work on it. Let the results show. Let's share these audios so that uh, uh, the video, the audios, so that at the end of the day, uh, whatever we are saying, uh, we also can find others. If you have journalists, you belong to a journalist group, take the audios. I also share with Franco, with Maxwell, so that we don't have to repeat ourselves. And uh, by yeah, sharing, please. we are all better for it. All right. Now, thank you. All right. Thank you.